Hello, fellow Scratchers, and welcome to the seventh monthly Griff Patch Academy Game Jam results video. Our November Jam theme was going up, and I've had an amazing mix of submissions to play through. I'm sure these will give you tons of inspiration to get scratching yourselves. So stay tuned as we breeze through each game genre and review the top four shortlisted titles from each. And then I'll try and pick a winner. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll begin with the top four casual games. And holy moly, this category was dominated by previous jam winners. It's crazy. Robodog81 has us timing the waves in up and over 3D. Technically awesome, but sadly limited to turbo warp due to its crazy awesome 3D wave effects. Werta 4 makes taking to the skies over and over again an absolute pleasure in his casual game Jetman. Keep leveling up and see how high you can fly. I adore the clean graphics and the gorgeous lens flare effects. Wow. One Dimensional does it again with this marvellous mining game, Mining Up. We mine stone, collect the resources as they drop to the ground, build and merge pickaxes for great progression, and see if you can reach the surface. It's such fun. And lastly, Going Up. Just when you think you've picked a winner, not a school account pulls this little gem out of the bag. Operate the elevator to take your passengers to their desired levels, but don't keep them waiting too long. The whole thing is so cleverly put together. What a wonderful game. Which makes choosing a winner in this category almost impossible. Uh, who would you give it to? Let me know in the comments under the video. You know, I really can't choose right now. I'm going to play them a bit more, have a think, and come back to this category later in the video. So for the theme going up, dodging games were by far the most popular submission. Here's the top four. We begin with A Mission to Mars by The Black Tiger 7, a superbly polished game that has us weaving in and out of moving obstacles in a buttery smooth controlled rocket. You'll be desperate to beat every phase of this epic journey. Next up, Rocket Game by Maxton Gamer ups the pace significantly. Being able to survive will either take a lot of luck, incredible skill, or learning a trick to survive. I wonder which kind of gamer you are. Swing Copter by Matt Ayala Molina 123 has the most crazy control scheme. Well, I won't say it's impossible, but it's really quite tricksome. Still, I'm sure there are tons of you who would be right at home playing this great looking game. And bring it on. And lastly, Scary Ghost 14 brings us Build and Launch. After all, if we're going to try and dodge flaming asteroids, why not do it in style in our own custom designed spacecraft? Oh yeah. Note to self, probably not a good idea to make such a wide meteor magnet ship. So winners, 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 the best dodging game award goes to the Black Tiger 7 with a mission to Mars. Congratulations. So the sim game genre this month is an interesting mix of, well, best we look and see. Starting with, holy moly, what is this? Elevator Going Up by Fagner Marcelinoch has the most complex look interface I've ever seen. Uh, yet apparently this is an elevator and it's lucky you have your basket of supplies because you're going to need them as you travel far up into space and beyond. Who knows what you'll find at the top. P-A-I-N by Geometrical Coder is the beginnings of an exciting rocket sim. Woohoo, Houston, we have a problem. And at present, we just have to get our kicks flying around the launch pad. Still unreasonably fun, mostly due to the great thruster effects. And this is Reaching Up for the Stars by Smile Hedgehog. It has the most amazing voiced over introduction to get you into Let's the game. Just the filters. Alright, I think I can do that. Where we then get to search for and document the planets that we find. But do keep your air topped up and watch out for incoming space debris. And last but not least, <laughs> what's this? Ha! A skeleton sim! I'm just a pile of bones by Very Friendly. It's actually a jump game, but the joint simulation is just something else. I mean, yeah, the jumping can be quite hilarious and is far from perfect, but that just adds to the crazy fun of it. This is one of those coding themes I really adore. Great work. 
But now for a winner of the Sim Project category is... Reaching Up for the Stars by Smile Hedgehog for a wonderful space adventure and great astronomical art. Moving swiftly on to Best Scratch Animation. Owl Girl 2016 leads the pack with Bounce Up, a delightful short about a girl who bounces where no girl has bounced before. Her final exclamation is priceless. Whoa! Scrolling up by Hollow Song is a simple project done just right. A flawless, infinite high skyscraper. Well, it certainly meets the theme, right? Hmm, I wonder if it really does go up forever. Want to wait and find out? Going up by Clock Biscuit is, uh, an animation about two people, aliens, and another trampoline, and space. Whoa, yeah, what a ride. Don't you think that rocket looks a little bit like a duck? Love it. And finally, Balloon on a Broken String, a music video by Hedgehog81. And this is simply a delight. The beat synchronised particles are especially attractive and the constant visual cues that fit the lyrics, very nicely done. So out of these four, who should be declared best animation? Well indeed, it has to go to… Hedgehog81 with their tuneful balloon on a broken string. Congratulations to you! And so we return to a classic game genre, the arcade game. Spider Mario starts the ball rolling with Rocket Radventure. Ensure you have enough fuel to make it into space, only to have to evade an onslaught of enemy interceptors. And finally, if you survive all that, then you get to attempt a safe re-entry. Want to take on this challenge? <laughs> Man, yeah. Floor Up is a very interesting arcade game brought to us by 23SDF, where you have a limited run of preset moves to bring our ball safely home. All we get to do is choose the timing. It's always fun when you find a new take on a classic game, so kudos to you for thinking up this one. So, do you get more points for submitting three projects in one? Well, Minecraft Gamer 1000 is trying to find out, with their game compilation Going Up Arcade. The first is Dodge the Spikes in Your Rocket, then there's the Shoot the Targets game, uh, that was my favourite, and then uh, Climb Ladders in Ghost Ninja. So if you can do this while spreading your talents across three games, I'd love to see what you can make when you focus on just one epic game. And lastly, do you like dragons? Scales in the Sky by Netherdragon222 has us getting into a tangle with a fiery red foe chasing us up into the night sky. The trick in this game is to keep yourself far enough away from the flames that you don't burn, but close enough that you don't freeze in the high cold atmosphere. Wow, some interesting ideas there, don't you think? And now to choose the winner of Best Arcade Game, and it goes to Spider Mario with Rocket Rad Adventure. I loved how the plot unfolded across the multiple game genres. Awesome scratching. Best Jumping Game. I split this out from the arcade games due to the large number of entries in this category. And kicking this off is Among the Sky by Logo Potato, a rather quiet but otherwise excellently presented platformer jumping game, with pleasing minimalistic pixel art graphics and a fun assortment of static, moving and extra spicy platforms to be jumped on. The controls are really sensitive and it takes some serious skill to land yourself on the tiny yet perfect platforms. Serious fun and a very solid game. Next up, Oscar09 brings us the challenging Rocks Climb. See how high you can climb one vertical leap at a time and it's really not so easy to keep your grip, which is really frustrating. Uh, perhaps it's fiddly or it could just be me, but it only makes you want to come back for more and try again. Talking of which, Moonbound Munchies by Earthboy07 is a scrolling adaption of the classic platformer that reminds me quite a bit of Getting Over It, only parkour style, without the pot or the axe. And it's surprisingly fun, and yet almost as unforgiving. But I just can't stop playing! Now hold on, what's this? High Heist version 1 by Pixel Program, and just look what they have for us today. A graphical delight and sensory feast as we bounce higher and higher within this strobing neon world. And it's not easy, especially with those awful red player zapping electro platform things. Ah, really? Time to try again!
So, another really hard one to call as we see who is the winner of the best jumping category. Pixel Program's High Heist looks amazing, but Earthboy07 did a fantastic job with their parkour game. And the others, man, but I'm giving it to Pixel Program with High Heists. It was a really close one, but man, does he know how to lay on the polish. Next up is Best Shooter. And we blast off with Otis Odd Squad in their game Up to the Universe, a splendidly simple vertical shooter that makes great use of Griff Patch tutorials for score and health bars. Plug plug. This game's difficulty ramps up well, but the same can't be said of the player's firepower. Ah, she cannot take any more, Captain! Going up by quick heat, a wild ride of stars, lasers, space rocks, and collectibles. Where we are heading, nobody knows, but it features a wonderful cutscene halfway through as you enter the pixel galaxy. Awesomeness. I love these creative touches so much. PAH 0604 Space Shooter is a very different breed. A much more retro static screen with hordes of alien ships to be shot at. But just be warned, if the falling rocks don't get you, the loud pumping music probably will. And last now in this category, Dashasaurs going up begins with an awesome narration of the rules. Shoot the blobs by holding space or the mouse. And then Kill dives me. seamlessly into an epic vertical battle of blob versus laser. The fate of the city is in your hands. So once again, some awesome projects, but only one can be the winner of the category best shooter. And that winner is going up by quick heat. Very well done to you. Now, for all the games that didn't fit into the previous seven game genres, I'm going to bundle them all into the best of the rest. So here goes. FR Wolf UB brings us Tower of Babel, an exciting puzzle game with a great story featuring two playable characters, which you must coax into solving each room's puzzle so that you can progress onto the next floor. And finally, reach the roof of the Tower of Babel. Next we have the beginnings of an intriguing RPG by SVGAR Fly, or is that Sugarfly, named The Last Floor. I clicked around all over the place trying to do something, until holding the right arrow my playable character suddenly emerged from behind the elevator. <laughs> I almost missed that, but I love the art style of these characters, and I'd love to see this project continued. Speaker Set treats us to the only music rhythm game of the jam, named just up, and we simply have to hit the spacebar whenever the red bars reach the top of the screen. Multiple well-timed hits add to our score multiplier and mistakes. Well, don't do that. Nice visuals, but could perhaps do with a more exciting music track to keep us rocking. And there's just one more project, and that is Tower of Doom by none other than WY111004, a beautiful tile-based roguelike game split into rooms, with classic roguelike lock-in behaviour when you encounter the classic slime foes. Battles are slick and well-balanced, this is a game that you know you'll want to spend some time exploring. So quite a mix of projects there, but again, there can only be one winner and I'm going to give it to… WY111004 for Tower of Doom, an impressive feat of coding. Well done. So we are almost there, but did you think I'd forgotten about the winner of our casual games category? Oh man, no. So here they are again. Up and Over 3D by Robodog81, Technically Amazing, Jetman by Werta4, Wonderfully Presented and Playable, Mining Up by One Dimensional, Crazily Addictive, and Going Up by Not a School Account, an undeniably excellent and polished game. I went back and played them all again to make up my mind, and for me, this time, I'm going to give best casual game to… oh man, should I? Yes, congratulations! One Dimensional with Mining Up, mainly because it had me coming back again and again wanting to continue my upgrades and see what I would find as I mined higher and higher. I'm so sorry to everyone else who didn't make it this time, it's terribly hard to have to choose one above another when you all created such fantastic projects, all deserving for many different reasons. And I mean everyone, all the hundreds of projects that I can't even fit into this video. However, to this month's Game Jam winners, congratulations, you deserve it! So there's a link to the winning projects under the video, so go ahead and give them a play. See if you agree with me, if you are interested in joining the Griff Patch Academy where we learn coding through tutorials, walkthroughs and mentorship, then check out griffpatch.academy. 
or so, if you'd love to take part in one of our game jams, then a special one-off public game jam for all is already underway, and a link to that video should be on the screen now. Well, I hope you enjoyed these projects and perhaps gained some cool inspiration for your next game. But that is it from me today, so have a great week ahead and scratch on, guys.